Hey everybody, my name is Kevin Long. I'm here at Outdoor Retailer Show with Tom. Tom, how's it going? It's going great. Thanks, Kevin. Tom, I'm uh, going by here and looking at uh, these beasts of a cooler. Well, what's the name of your company? It's Rover Products. Rover Products. So we are walking by and we were checking out these coolers here and we thought we'd stop and talk to Tom. Tom, wondering if you can uh, kind of walk us through what are you doing different in the cooler world? Okay. Well, I think, Kevin, I think we should start from the top. So what we first have here is a bin. Do you want me to hold the mic? Or? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay, or you, you, how about I hold the mic and you open the bin? Okay. Okay, and then what we got is we open this bin up, and as you can see from the back here, you can load all your camp stuff, your chairs, your sleeping bags and whatnot in the bin, fasten it to the top of the lid, and then it acts as a wagon. So you're saying the top of this, I'm, I'm carrying all my camp stuff. I'm going to try it out. This one's loaded up? Yep. It's ready to go? All right. Let me hook this up. Let me do a little loop around. Let me see what happens. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! That's totally working. I scared everybody, Tom. That's good. At least the bear wasn't happening. All right, so I tested out Rover cooler and it definitely can carry stuff very easily. Tom, can we go on the inside of this cooler and see what's going on here? Uh, this folds down super easy, just like so. Okay. And we open up and what we've got in here is a dry bin. This utilizes the ice water from around, um, it, the ice water flows around the dry bin and creates a refrigerator. And actually, as you can see from the digital thermometer, it's 37 degrees right here in this dry bin. So you can keep meats and vegetables and anything you want to keep cold and away from water. You can keep that cold and uh, nicely organized in the dry bin. So Tom, let me ask you, because what always happens, right? The ice melts, your stuff gets gross, you're like constantly trying to save food. It's yes. like a, you know, it's like Superman hero thing, right? Correct. So you've totally separated. Do you have an example of this thing that we can look at? Like, does that have an actual base bottom? It, it does, and somebody rolled away with it, but it's, it a, it's around here somewhere. So this thing has an actual bottom in it, so water cannot go in it. Yeah, so water can't go in it. This entire bin lifts out, right, so that you can clean it. And then it has a stepped uh, lower level inside, which allows the water to run around it and keep that bin nice and cold. So you got your water on this side, mm -hmm. frozen down. You got your dry food on this side. Mm -hmm. Your bin, that's totally proof. So can you tell me, what, what is this cooler retailing at? At 449 Whoa! 449 Yeah. And so and when I that that's a, it's for the 80 quart cooler. It includes this dry bin. Okay. It includes these removable this removable table here that you can put on any three sides. Yeah. Additionally, it includes this double cup holder, and we've got this pin anchoring system, so you can create a prep station around the mouth of the cooler while letting you have access inside the lid. So Tom, let me break through like the cooler world. So I have one of those like piece of crap ninety dollar coolers, mm -hmm. right? Which is essentially a box. Yeah. Right? Ice melts, it doesn't last very long. What happens when you jump from that like $90 cooler to that like $200, $300 cooler and jump up to yours? Can you kind of walk through those different steps? Absolutely. Well, the first step is uh, in the jump is typically you're going to get a roto molded cooler that's bear proof and that has extended ice retention. It's typically a lifetime product, uh, extremely durable. And then um, from there, when you get into a cooler like mine, you get into this anchor system where you actually can create a prep station for all your food and uh, drink making activities around the uh, campsite. Additionally with mine you get the pneumatic wheels um, which allow you to tow the cooler by wheel rather than carrying it with your hands. Yep. Uh, you also get this great dual uh, pull handle and you get the wagon bin and you also get the internal dry storage. So when I'm holding this, this is a pretty thick, w what's inside of here? So that's, uh, it's foam, it's LLDPE plastic, and then it's got foam inside, mm -hmm. right? And it's just one unit, and so it's, gr it's certified grizzly proof. Okay. So you can lock it with a padlock, you can leave it at your campsite, and if a grizzly does find it, he's not getting in. So, not so if I'm looking at the cooler world, you're looking at this like 75 to 100 bucks for like the, the crappy basic cooler. When you jump up to the like 250 range, you're now getting this thick insulation where it'll actually keep cold for days. How, wh how long can your, cool, your cooler stay cold? Seven to 10 days. Seven to 10 days. Like if you barely open it and keep it shut. No, and in fact, actually, it'll, it, you know, you can actually open it quite a bit. And additionally, with this dry storage, we've had this open all day. It's 37 degrees now in the dry storage and it's been open all day because it utilizes that water as well. So 
it, 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 does, it, it does the trick for cool. sure. So Tom, if people want to check out this cooler, now one last question I have. This is a huge cooler, right? Correct. I don't have that many friends. Right, it's me and my wife. Maybe a couple people that can barely stand hanging out with me. Yeah. So, do you guys have? Is this a one-stop shop, one shape, or what's the deal? No, this is the first in our line. We also have a 60 quart that's going to be available in a month via Kickstarter. Okay. And then we also have a 45 quart that's coming out in the springtime. What's the difference? I can't even visualize like the quart. So, 80 quart. Uh, the 60 quart is well. You can see the 80 quart, right? This is, this is the 80 quart. Yeah, okay. The capacity actually is 120 cans of beer and 20 pounds of ice in this one cooler here. Okay. And then you have a 60 cord, it's four inches narrower and two inches shorter. So four inches narrower, two inches shorter. That's about my cooler height. It's a great, 60 cord is a great size. I happen to have a family with four kids. Okay. This is the perfect cooler for me. Cool. So that was the first one I was going to build, the one I wanted to get the most use out of. Yeah. So I've got a cooler for the smaller group gatherings coming out next. Awesome. Tom, where can people check this out online? Uh, ROVRproducts.com, that's ROVRproducts.com is our website. Rubberproducts.com. Thanks so much, Tom.